Hello and welcome back. I'm going to solve one example a determinate beam under dead load and live load and to calculate the maximum bending moment in the mid span of the supports. We are going to understand how to apply the favorable and unfavorable action on this beam. Assume we have a beam with the length of L and also overhang A in both sides, which is under the distributed load QD and QL, representing dead load and live load. And in this example, we assume that the element is very sensitive to permanent action. For example, this can be a deck of uh, a bridge supported on two columns with two overhang with the length of A. So if we want to consider the load combinations for this one, and if we are interested in the bending moment at point C for the most favorable and most unfavorable actions in load combinations, uh, as I said, if the beam is sensitive to permanent action, we need to think how the bending moment in mid span of C will be in its maximum value. We assume that uh, QD in general is 10 kN per meter, including the self rate of the beam, and Q live is 20 kN per meter. Let's assume L is, for example, 5 meters and A is 1.5 meters. Indeed, for a bridge deck, the length of L should be much longer than 5 meters. But this is just informative to understand how to apply the different uh, factors in the load combination. If you look at two overhangs uh, with the length of A, they are in a situation that they are helping the structure to decrease the bending moment in the mid span. So I assume that the beam is the sum of two beams, one with the distributed load between A and B and the other one only loads on the overhangs. If you sketch the bending moment diagram of this beam, the first one and the second one, the first one will be zero in overhang and then it will be QL squared divided by eight. And in the other one, it will be QA squared divided by two constant and then coming to zero. Here it is positive and the other one is negative. So in superposition method, we just add the bending moment in the first structure to the second one. Here we can see that in combination of these two QL squared divided by eight would be positive and QA squared divided by two is negative. As a result, this will result in uh, reducing the bending moment of the first beam because it is favorable. So in that case, if your structure is sensitive to permanent action then we need to separate them for example using a little bit more dead load for the unfavorable action and less load for um, favorable action in this case i assume that both are the same with the value of given 10 kN per meter but i assume that uh, i'm using different partial factors instead uh, you can be more accurate if you want to read the code and find out the very accurate results. So for the dead load, Q is 10 kN per meter and the length of the beam is 5 meters. As a result, the bending moment positive and A is 1.5 meters. In the mid span will be QL squared divided by 8, which will be 10 times 5 power by 2 divided by 8 which is 31.25 kN meter. And for the other one will be minus QA squared divided by two, which is 10 times 1.5 power by two divided by two, and it will be minus 11.25 kN meter. So if you sum these two values, the resultant will be 20. But when it comes to the combination, considering the permanent action is, uh, the structure is sensitive to permanent action, then we need to reduce the favorable action. As a result, in the load combination for 1.35 GK plus 0.9 GK, this is inferior, 
this is superior i assume that both are with the mean value but you can follow the code to find out exact value so the bending moment between bc maximum will be 1.35 times 31.25 plus 0 0.9 times minus 11.25 kilonewton meter kilonewton meter and the maximum value will be 32.1 kilonewton meter if you want to combine them in advance and then multiply by 1.35 so it will be 31.25 minus 11.25 kilonewton meter which is 20 kilonewton meter and then multiply by 1.35 the value will be 27 again this is applied if your uh, a structure is very sensitive to permanent action for the live load q is 10 q is 20 kilonewton per meter length 5 meters and a is 1.5 meters m live positive will be ql squared divided by 8 and it will be 60 2.5 kilonewton meter and ml negative will be minus qa squared divided by 2 and it will be minus 22.5 kilonewton meter i'm following finnish national annex and uh, in the combination of dead load and live load the equation is 1.15 gk superior plus 0.9 gk inferior plus summation of gamma q times qk1 Gamma Q can be 1.5 when it is unfavorable and it is 0 when it is favorable. As a result, the M in ULS, I assume that KFI is 1. If it is not, then it should be multiplied by 1.1 for the first and the last term. But 0 0.9 GK inferior does not need to be multiplied by 1.1 or other values of KFI. So this value will be 1.15 times 31.25 kilonewton meter plus 0 0.9 times minus 11.25 kilonewton meter plus 1.5 times 62.5 kilonewton meter. And as far as the other one is favorable, it will be taken as zero value for favorable action. So 1.15 times 31.25 plus 0 0.9 times minus 11.25 plus 1.5 times 62.5 so it will be 119.5 kilonewton meter so this is how the calculation uh, needs to be done but if your structure is not sensitive to permanent action then you can use only 1.35 for the first case that uh, we had only dead load this is 0 0.9 gk inferior and between two supports it will be 1.35 gk superior and on the other overhang 0 0.9 gk inferior and in the combination of uh, dead load and live load we will have 1.15 gk superior 0 0.9 gk inferior and also 1.5 times the live load only between two supports so two load combinations are considered again this is assumed that the entire section is under um, permanent load and it is sensitive to permanent action now if you are interested in the most favorable results then we can easily sketch based on what we learned so far so you apply the 0 0.9 times gk inferior here and 1.35 gk superior on overhang this is one case and the other case can be 0 0.9 gk inferior 1.15 gk superior and also the live load will be applied on only overhang 1.5 qk and 1.5 qk for calculation bending moment in the center of bc m for case number one load combination combination number one and combination number two for load combination number one it will be 0 0.9 times 31.25 plus 1.35 times minus 11.25 so the value will be 12.94 kilonewton meter and m for combination 2 will be 0 0.9 times 
31.25 plus 1.15 times minus 11.25 plus 1.5 times the value was minus 22.5 which is minus 18.6 kilonewton meter so here you can see that the in the favorable action the bending moment is even negative in load combination 2 coming back to the first one here you can see that uh, the maximum is uh, 119 and the minimum is minus 18 it means that the, based on the arrangement of the load the bending moment can be between these two extremes plus 120 minus something around 19 uh, but if you if your structure is not sensitive to permanent action then we have only two options first one is just putting gk and qk between in this case this should be multiplied by 1.35 or 1.15 and this should be multiplied by 1.5 this is for the most uh, unfavorable and for the most favorable one gk this was superior and this will be inferior and you will have the live load only on overhang so this will be one point uh, this will be 0 0.9 and this will be 1.5 so if your structure is not sensitive to permanent action then you can use only one gk which most likely will be the uh, mean value as stated in the code that's the end of this video in the next video i will go through one example another example uh, which is indeterminate and we will just try to find out the most critical location of live load in a two spans beam and we assume that the structure is not sensitive to uh, permanent action thank you for watching see you next time bye